<clears throat> hey guys, um, oh, no, no, uh, it's Finn, I'm sick, but, um, I haven't posted in a little bit, and I feel bad about that, so how about we do a little story time, yeah, um, this isn't actually an original story, I wrote it, um, I'm only gonna read you a little bit of it, because, well, I don't really want you guys to have to way through all of it, but I will put a link to it, like, so everyone can read it in, a dis in the description. Um, I might put it on Wattpad, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, hey, um, so, it's called The Coffee Shop, um, and I'm sorry, this is really unprofessional. Uh, I don't have any lighting, I don't have any hair stuff. Um, I'm also in shorts and a hoodie, but I felt like I have a couple minutes to kill um, before I have to go to my meetings and then my voice lessons and then I have to go to work. But I was like, I guess I'll record some. Um, I miss you guys a lot. I feel bad that I haven't been able to post as much as I thought I would. Um, Got your hopes up. Saw how that went. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's let's start reading. I guess. Um, the coffee shop, by Finn Whitman, otherwise otherwise known as like my actual non-keeper counterpart, Aaron Nixon. Ugh, I don't like saying that name on this camera. Um, okay. Every morning I walk to Royce for my cappuccino and a glimpse at her. I had moved to this town over my sp school spring break. Well, I guess it's now my old school. And every day since, I've seen her here, here, here at exactly 6.32 every morning. I didn't know her name, how old she was, anything. But the one thing I knew, I wanted to know more. It was my first day of school in Crawford, Georgia. <laughs> Do you remember being the new kid? In all of the movies and shows, you see the new kids being loners or doing the opposite and becoming the social butterfly everyone hates and loves at the same time. But I guess that's high school, right? Your friends are your enemies, your enemies you don't know yet. Those two things do happen. Uh, the loner and the butterfly. Can you guess what I became? You guessed it. I became the loner. Now don't get me wrong. I made friends, I made plenty, in fact. Uh, I was there for a month and about a half and they voted me senior homecoming king i didn't want any of it i was fine with uh people always wanting to hang out but i didn't actually think of them as people who wanted to be with me they just wanted me for my newfound popularity <laughs> no i didn't care about any of it all i wanted was to find her i learned she was a student here on my daily coffee run is that stalking was that wrong? Anyway, she was wearing a shirt one day that had Crawford's mascot, the lion with wings. Uh, what is that called? Oh yeah, the griffin. Uh, that must mean she's a student, right? And then there came a talent show I was hosting because they wanted me to host it, and she was there. She performed in a group act, not giving a name, but still allowed me to see her. Uh, I was focused on entertaining the audience, though. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl use the restroom? I asked the crowd. Because the pee is silent, they all said. Because that's the obvious answer. But I go, no, because they're extinct. <sighs> I walked off the stage introducing the next act. They're extinct? A guy in the girls group asked on the side. Everyone knows the other joke. It would have been boring, and we can't bore the crowd. <laughs> that little part, uh, I, I say it as a phrase. It's just something. Then a few days later, I saw her in the hall. She was by her locker standing with her friends. <sighs> God, what was her name? I mustered up enough courage to walk over to her. You're staring at me, she said after a few minutes of silence. Do you want something, or? I was frozen to my feet. 
my mouth unable to move. Finally, I found the ability to speak. I'm Jason. I would meant it to sound energized and cool and like smooth, but it was more of a kid who just had their tonsils removed. Jason. I beg your pardon, she said. <clears throat> I cleared my throat and I took a breath. I'm Jason. I'm sort of new here. I know who you are. Your name is everywhere in the girls' bathroom. She said that last part with a bit of embarrassment. My name is Stephanie Weaver. I finally knew her name. My heart filled with joy as I considered the possibility of a future with this girl. This girl who I just met. <sighs> Bathroom? Er, never mind. Would you, uh, um, would you want to maybe, I don't know, grab some coffee? Well, I grab co coffee every morning, she said with a devilish smirk and a gleam in her eye. See, at this point, I almost said, I know, I see you every morning, but that would have been kind of creepy. So, I just continued by saying, with me, I said a little too anxious, would you like to grab some coffee with me? Oh, that's what you mean, she toyed playfully. In that case, yes, Mr. Stone, I would love to go get a coffee with you. How was tomorrow? Tomorrow, feeling a little bit happier than usual. I pitch in trying to make a joke. Royce, 10.30? tomorrow and she left well guys that is actually about half of that story um i want you guys to go look at it if you would burp um tell me what you think i will have that um link somewhere <clears throat> i don't know should i just leave it on a google docs and just have it open for everyone I might do that. Or I'll just have just, well, K, put it on a Watt page, um, a Wattpad or something. Um, but yeah, you guys will find it somehow. Um, yeah. I do want to post more. I'm sorry, guys. I, um, I apologize for that. It's just, um, and next week I don't think I'll be able to post on Sunday. Because I will be in St. Louis auditioning for The Voice. So that's pretty pretty fun. Um, maybe I can fit one on Friday. I'll try. I'll try to upload Friday. Um, Alright, so I love you guys. Miss you. Hey, Maybeck, by the way props on your editing skills, and your producing skills, and your directorial skills. Um, if you haven't already, check out Time. It's literally, I think, it rivals some of the Oscar nominees with um, best editing and like best photo skills and stuff. So thank Maybeck for all of that creation. And um, see you guys.